Hello, welcome to another video. I am sure you have seen derivatives from first principles before, but you probably have not seen derivatives with a power that is this high or maybe this low, because that's a small fraction with a huge denominator. And um, I don't know how to do that unless I have a special secret. Okay, so let me take you through the journey of taking the derivative of anything that looks like this from first principles. And it has to do with the binomial theorem. You'll have to expand this using the binomial theorem and things will work out and we'll get the answer. So without wasting your time, well, before we go on, make sure you like this video, you share it, you subscribe to this um, channel and you leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, let's get into it. So like I always say, the first thing you do when you're doing uh, taking derivatives from first principles is to copy and paste. You see this f of x is this guy, just put it here, okay? And wherever you see x, replace it with x plus h. So this is what we're going to say, that this derivative is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of, let's write this. So I'm going to write this. And f of x is this, so I'm going to write x to the 1 over 100 with a minus sign. And right here, it's going to be, instead of writing x, I'm going to write x plus h raised to power 1 over 100. So, remember that taking derivatives from first principles requires that you simplify the numerator. The denominator is usually never the problem. It's always the numerator that's the problem. And... You know you can FOIL stuff because you can say uh, maybe x plus h squared, you can write it as x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. But now what we have is a weird um, exponent which you can only expand using the binomial theorem. Now what does the binomial theorem say? Now the binomial theorem says that if you have, um, let's use x plus h, so x plus h, if you raise it to power n, the answer you get is going to be something like this. You're going to have k is equal to 0 to n, and the coefficient of each of the terms will be determined by what we call choose from. Okay, so we're going to have k, which means from n, choose k. So if it is from 5, we're going to use an example, okay, just so you can understand it. This is a pre-calculus topic, so you have to get used to it. Um, I, didn't, I don't want to spend time explaining this because it's not the crux of this derivation. This is just a skill you need to answer the question. And then you're going to have um, the terms x raised to power n minus k, and then you're going to have h raised to power k. So this is what we will get. Let's take a very easy example. Suppose I want to do x plus h raised to power 5. So the first term I'm going to get is going to have this coefficient, which is going to be from 5. So this is how we're going to write it. I'm going to erase it. From 5, choose 0. In how many ways can you choose nothing from 5? There's only one way you can do that, and that's, that's, that's it. Okay, so this answer here is going to be 1, and then the exponent here is going to be x raised to power 5 minus 0, and then h is going to have h raised to power 0. As you can see, it looks like this is going to be 1 times x raised, sorry, x raised to power 5, and this is h raised to power 0, which is 1. So ultimately, what you have here is basically x to the fifth. So the first term here is x to the fifth. Now let's go to the next term. The next time we go back here, we're now moving away from k equals 0 to k equals 1. When k is equal to 1, the number here has to be 1. So definitely I'm going to have h here. And then my x is going to be 5 minus 1, which is 4, x to the fourth. As you can see, the exponent starts dropping. But what number will be here? Well, it will be from, since we're dealing with 1 now, this one has 1. It's going to be from 5 choose 1. In how many ways can you choose 
one thing out of five objects. Well, there are five ways to do that. So the number here is gonna be five. And you keep going until you get to the last one. Well, when you get to the last one, this definitely is gonna be five because the numbers keep changing as this one. So this is gonna be, in how many ways can you pick five things from five things? Well, there's only one way. So at the end, you're gonna end up with h raised to power five. You see that? And basically that's it. You have other terms in the middle. I just want you to know that you're gonna start with no h, you're gonna end with all h, and the amount of h in each term will start increasing from the second one. So if you paid good attention to what I was talking about here, we're gonna apply this to what we have here, okay? So let's see, this is going to be equal to the limit as h goes to zero of, we apply the binomial expansion to this one, and what you note, based on what I explained here, the first term is just exclusively going to be, wait, let's divide this by h. So the first term we're gonna get is gonna be, um, where is it? x raised to power one over 100. That's always the first term. It's always what here raised to power this. So it's gonna be x raised to power one over 100. That's your first term. And the next term is going to be from, okay, let's write it. It's gonna be from five, choose one, and then x raised to power, remember what happens is the exponent will start reducing by one, so this exponent is gonna become, it's gonna become one over 100 minus one. Now, one over 100 minus one is negative 99 over 100, basically. So we're gonna have this to be negative 99 over 100, that's the power, multiplied by h, there's gonna be h raised to power one. Remember, once you move on, the next one is gonna be h raised to power two. We're gonna do that, so that's gonna be plus. We do the same thing from five, choose two, okay? And then you have x raised to power. If you subtract another one from this, it's gonna become negative 199 over 100. So it's gonna be negative 199 over 100 and then h has second power. The process will continue until you get to the last one. So all of them will have h. You see the h is increasing. Everybody has h until you get to the last one. So let's say plus, tap, 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 plus. The last one is gonna be h raised to power. It's gonna be the same power that's up here. Where is it? One over 100. So this is gonna be h raised to power one over 100. Okay. And that is the expansion of this. Remember, on top we have minus x to the one over 100. So minus x to the one over 100, and everything is divided by h. Now, why did I write five? It's not five, it's one over 100. One over 100, I'm so sorry. Where did that come from? From the example, it's one over 100. Okay, so that's what's supposed to be up there. So how can we evaluate this? Well, generally, when you do from a certain number of things, choose one, there, is, there are only a certain number of ways. So from seven, in how many ways can you choose one out of seven things? Well, there are just seven ways. In how many ways can you choose one thing out of one over 100 things? It's just one over 100. So if we simplify what we have on top here, this is gonna be equal to the limit as h goes to zero of, this is x to the one over, wait, this minus this actually zeroes out. So we don't have to repeat this one because this minus the very last term, that will always happen, they will cancel out. So let me get, clean this up. So now we're gonna write, um, this is gone, that's gone. So we're gonna start from this. From this, choose this is basically one over 100. Then you have x raised to power negative 99 over 100 h. Okay, I moved it down a bit so it doesn't interfere with this one. Divided by, let's see what we have here. So the next term is going to be 
from this choose this now do i know how to evaluate that maybe i don't but it's not important okay so i'm going to leave it like this as 1 over 100 choose 2 of x to the negative 199 over 100 h squared top 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 plus the last term is h to the 1 over 100 i'm going to leave it that way okay now we're still dividing by h now see what happens if you divide every term here by h this h is going to divide get rid of this so we're going to end up with just 1 over 100 x to the negative 99 over 100 plus if we divide this by h we're going to end up with from 1 over 100 choose 2 we're going to have x to the negative 19, 199 over 100 but one of these h's is gone so you have just one h left and then we continue until we get to the end if you divide this by h you're going to get h raised to power i'm um, going to be negative 99 over 100. okay do we know what this limit is well everything that contains h will have it go to zero so zero times this will become zero so this zeroes out because this contains h it zeroes out everything in the middle here will contain h remember all of them have h's this was the only one that didn't have h the first one this goes to zero so the only thing left is this term so what do you have you have 1 over 100 x to the negative 99 over 100 and that is the derivative of this function this is what you get if you use the power rule applied to this and that's how you do this the binomial expansion is a great tool you want to master how to do your factorials and how to do um, whatever expansion you need to do i'll see you in the next video never stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living bye bye